Guys, let's look at this problem, poll. So we have to implement our own poll, which calculates the x raised to the power of n, x to the n. Like this, 2 to 10 is 10, 24. There is a case that it might be minus. Uh, the m might be minus. So n is a 32-bit sign integer. The range is like this. OK. So, OK, we have a, a naive implementation is that we just calculate the result, right? So the naive implementation. So we, so if we just count it to the end time, so the time will be O N the space. Space will be just uh, yeah. There's nothing to so it's constant. So let result be one while n is is bigger than so n. Minus z, uh, while n is bigger than zero, so we loop it, and the result equals x, and then we return the result. It's very, uh, it's very straightforward, except that n might be minus. Hmm. Yeah, when minus it becomes this, so we should normalize the problem. Okay, if n is more than zero, then x x equals one divided by x, and the n equals minus n. Now we can have all uh, positive numbers. What if n is zero? Yeah, so it should it should work. Finished. Yeah, it's work, but it it, it must be time limit exceeded. I think it's too too slow. Time limit exceeded. T O E. Let's comment this out and try to improve it. Okay, the next thing we can do in mind is that we can use a recursion. But it doesn't help. But it doesn't help much. Right? When we got on get to x to n, we try to get x n to minus one. And then multiply it by x so actually the time is the same because it's num tail it's a space will cost us extra uh, cost, cost us extra stack which is on but maybe it's a uh, Well, we just say the first one is actually iterative. Okay. Let result equals one. If n equals zero, no, there's no result. If n equals zero, we return one. For the other case, we return on the minus. So, uh, of course, we also need to do this uh, normalization. And let's say if, say, return my poll x minus one, right? Yeah, it should work. Let's run the code. Huh? 
Oh god. <laughs> no, it should not work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maximum cost has exceeded. Of course, because we use extra space. Let's say and cost uh, size exceeded. Okay, this one is not also not possible. We need to find another solution. Is that during recursion, we can find that uh, actually, if we want to get to the x to 11, we can actually get x to 5. And then square it and uh, x, right? So things become things become uh, a little simpler. It's because if we're going to get my pole of n, if n is odd, then we say we return my pole minus one gets the minimum. One divided by two. Divided by two. Yeah. And then square it. And then times x. If it's even, we just say my Paul x and minus one. We can have this. And the base function is that. Uh, if n equals 1, we return x. This should also work in. Yeah. Yeah, it's accepted. Uh, okay, so improved recursion. It's not tail. Non tail, but time. Yeah, it's obviously we every time we cut on cut down the calculation, so it's actually um, it's like binary search. It's not n <laughs> time. There's just there is actually a stack because it's non tail uh, for space. Like uh, how many of it? The stack, the deepest stack is uh, log n. Yeah. Can we do better? Can we try to write this in the iterative way? Improved iteration. Oh, this is not from me. I just read, uh, read the solution and try to explain it. Okay, so. Let's say um, if we want to get the pole of 11 and we're trying if we cut down like this actually we want to do the same as the recursion the improved recursion way it's like uh, we try to uh, uh, calculate the, the the squared squared result iteratively like uh, it's kind of like just to get the uh, the binary form of the number right so for look not for for 11 but for 13 is actually in binary binary is 1101 right it's equals to Eight power of eight plus four. Oh uh, no, it's first uh, three, two plus two, one, right? And we can see that actually we can get uh, the result 
at this because it's the the the, the it's the pole of the number. So for these forms, actually, we we can just to say it's like this, right? Times x and good thing good thing is that in binary, right? In binary form binary format we actually can get like uh, from right to left it's uh from from right to left it's uh two zero two one two 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 three so the actually what we need is to collect the digit where binary the bit where bit is one, right? Because we need to collect, uh, oh, sorry, this is not one, this is zero. Because this is one, so we collect this. This is one, we collected this. This is one, collected this one, right? So just, just we just uh, get them, get them. And uh, am I right? Yeah, that's all. So if we just uh, traverse through all the bits from right to left, from right to left, we can, if it is one, if it is odd, we just collect the, the result. If this is zero, we ignore it. But we need to calculate the base, right? This is the base. And just to continue. At last, there will be also only one, right? The first significant bit. And then we just collect it. So we need to try another way. First one is there is a result. It should be because we're, we start with the first digit. The result should be one. And the base should be uh, x, right? Because this okay, we just say x two two zero. This might I think this is uh, more understandable. Okay, so while n, do we need normalize? Yes, we need. Normalize. Need to normalize. If n is smaller than zero, x equals one divided by x n equals minus n. So while n is bigger than one, why we end at at one? Because at because we already have the base of one. Okay. We'll stop at one. Okay, don't forget to minus decrement. Okay. So now we need to okay, we need this. Something is if n is zero, we should return one. Okay, now let's get it done. So if n is odd number, which say that the last bit, last bit is zero or uh, is one, then we need to collect the result, right? So result should be times the base because this is time the base and then 
don't forget to update the base. Base should be uh, base should be this, right? So more two square. Yeah, it actually should be. Uh, what is it? So it should be actually okay base actually because this is this one if we square it it will actually be uh mm, wait a minute so it yeah times two yeah this base okay so that's done we go to next one don't for don't forget to up the base well, the base should be updated every time here so and then if n if it is odd number ah, don't we don't minus one here n equals n minus one divided by two For if it is even number okay we 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 don't connect the result but we update the base so we can ignore skip it and n equals n minus two or divided by two and then finally it stopped at n equals one so that is the last one one and then we will collect the result right so result result equals base return the result it should working it should be it should work yeah Yeah, accept it. Um, one thing is that I think that maybe we can just uh, stop at zero. Is that possible? Is this possible? If equals. How can we get the this one right? X to zero. If that's the case, the base should also be X BB one. If we don't say the base, we just say the base, right? Mm. Seems not very simple. Mm. Why not start with zero? Because we're handling the first bit. There should be a basic base. The base is x. We are incrementing the base by x square. Not one, not x, right? So yeah, mm, this is the best result. I mean, base because it's uh, this one. So there's. There's no more, no more. So if we got to like this, it's gonna be my uh, half. So it's gonna make things bad. Anyway, that's all for this problem. Thank you.